my favourite player of all time was uh, Tommy Hutchinson. Um, and uh, he was uh, so silky smooth with his, uh, with his skills. And, uh, you know, Razzle Dazzle Tommy was the, uh, was the cry that went up. And uh, I haven't seen uh, very many players that, uh, uh, that show that kind of uh, class on a football pitch. Oh, he's a wizard with a ball. Yeah, wizard he was. Yeah. He was a good winger and he could outwin anybody, I reckon, in them days. He used to love Tommy. Not a little whippity boy, well a big whippy really, but, you know. When I came here we were bottom of the league, we went 14 games in the trot without losing and from then on uh, not only the first team but the youth team did really well and I think the year that I left even all the, I think it was about 12 or 14 of the first day of the youth team actually went on to play in the first division. The main one that, that stands out for me is when we uh, we played here, we played Liverpool and that night we went top of the league and beat them 1-0, I scored the goal and uh, I think it was only the goal I scored that season, mind, but um, I, I think that was, a, that was a big doing in me actually being picked to play for Scotland and I think at the time when I played here for me to get picked for Scotland was like winning the lottery without buying a ticket. Give him the ball and he would, he could guarantee he would get the ball across and uh, the number of chances that he created and the goals he scored himself. Great player. He got the ball and, and yeah, everyone stood up immediately, didn't it? If it could be in our penalty area, didn't matter. Tommy's got the ball and, you know, and he, he could just beat players for fun. Like, well, as I said, you don't really get them anymore, do you? You know, um, but like, probably like, I guess the Ronaldo of his times in a way. It was just fantastic to watch and uh, always delivered. Well, you had Mick Fergus in the box and I'll get down to here, Wallace, you know. I think we even finished sixth on the year. But 29 unbroken seasons in the top flight have seen plenty of hairy moments. In 1977, Coventry City and Bristol City squared up for the final relegation decider. The kickoff was delayed, and news of Sunderland's defeat at Everton was flashed onto the scoreboard by Jimmy Hill. The two sides played out a tame draw. Nowadays, it's such a, a, a big onus on winning games that if, if a run of results go against them, whereas before it might have been half a season or maybe even a bit longer than that. No, it just needs three or four games on the bounce and then they're out. Uh, the time I was here was no Cantwell and that's when we had the last record, the away, the away record of 10 consecutive away, away victories. So if the, uh, they can break that record the next few weeks, so I'm hopeful the club will do well.